Okay, morning campers. Well, today I'm just going to do a very short video just showing you uh, me levelling up from level 54 to level 55 and then we'll see what goodies, if any, that brings. Okay, so as you can see over here, if I just click, sorry, move the mouse over, you can see that I need 31,000 points for the next level. And what I did this morning was a Tomb Raider adventure and I'm on premium so what you can see here is that I've got 35 points there and 17 there it's kind of a poor return but it is 50,000 points so that will be enough I'm just having a quick look as you can see it's during the summer football event so there's 30 footballs there along with some other event goodies but what we're interested in today here is this 50,000 points so I will now click OK take the points and there we have it here we can see in the middle 55 congratulations actually this is really worth leveling up isn't it 55 points you've got 500 gems which you know, frankly, since the prices have gone up, 500 gems are really worth having. 800 star coins, that's nice. And, oh, this is what I'm interested in. I can build mounted swordsmen and knights. Yep, elite level soldiers. I can now start planning on doing the bigger adventures that are going to give me the more points, such as Ali and the young woodcutter. We've also got uh, an elite stable I can build. That's going to give me the battle horses, which I'm going to need for the mounted swordsman. And here we've got more of the um, the science projects. I, I never quite um, focus on what they produce, but obviously I'm going to build at least one of each. So I've got a supply chain going. So I'm rather pleased with that. I had no idea that level 55 was going to be so damn good. So, yeah, this is... Uh, the Settlers Online. This is my Newfoundland account in the name of Extemplar. If you see this video um, and you're on that server, you know, please uh, drop me a, an in-game message. Okay, until the next time. Bye for now.